Welcome back. We now have Idris to demonstrate some of the cookings that is suitable and ideal for our diet today. Well, we'll start with uh, prevention foods mm -hmm. now. And the first item we'll refer to are berries. And berries are very important for the prevention of hypertension. Okay. Okay, now these sorts of berries we don't find over here. Mm -hmm. Mostly uh, raspberries, mm -hmm. uh, blackberries, strawberries, they're all very good for hypertension. Uh, strawberries can grow here quite easily mm -hmm. and so can raspberries but with more difficulty. I do understand though we have a local berry here. Yeah, yeah, we have a local work that we call, I don't know how to call it in English but it's like kumundiko mm. in Mandinka. Okay, yeah. well that's just a perfect substitute for this imported variation. Mm -hmm. However, you can buy berries frozen in the supermarket, either strawberries, raspberries or mixed berries. And I would advise a spoonful every morning if you can or even with yogurt for your breakfast. It's ideal for dessert, but once you start to bring in the ice creams and the sugars and so forth, then it starts going against the purpose for taking some health food in. Okay, okay? so right. this is for, for hypertension. hypertension. Now we'll go to diabetes. Okay, something we have locally which is abundant. Potato. Uh, sweet potatoes, a very good substitution for regular potatoes and very tasty. So I would advise sweet potatoes boiled with little salt because salt also raises another aspect of your health which is the blood pressure and uh, you know to stay away if you can from frying because as well because of all the, the fat in the oil mm -hmm. and um, maybe olive oil if you want to fry for that matter. Palm oil in moderation is very good for preventing asthma. Okay. And we also have uh, cauliflower, something else that you can grow in your backyard. And broccoli, another thing you can grow in your backyard. Very good for preventing diabetes. Okay. And these are all options that you can use for your vegetable intake. All right. We have brown rice, something that's difficult to find here. But I would imagine if you buy local rice up country mm -hmm. before it's husked, or before it's husked 100%, that would be ideal for rice consumption to prevent diabetes. However, commercially, we have the white bleached rice and that's what we have to do with for the moment. Pasta, we all eat pasta, but we all eat sort of non-whole grain pasta. This is what you should buy if you can, a whole grain pasta, also perfect and healthier for your body. For asthma, besides the palm oil that I mentioned, citrus fruits, Apparently, citrus fruits are excellent for preventing asthma. Mm. Now, that we shouldn't have a problem with because we've got loads of oranges and mandarins mm -hmm. and grapefruits seasonally here. Yes. So I think a high intake of uh, citrus fruits will go very, very far. And last but not least, we'll talk about prevention for complications in pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So for a healthy pregnancy, red meat, believe it or not, is uh, highly recommended non-fat red meat. Of course you have the milks and the yogurts, the whole grain cereals, mm -hmm. cheese and brown bread of course. Mm -hmm. So these are some foods that we can start off with for the moment to s gradually and slowly change our diet. Yeah. Thank you once thank again you Idris for the lovely setting that we have here and thank you very much doctors. I guess the viewers have learned a lot from the peace you've given them. It was nice having you all on this program. Bye-bye. From hard news. Uh, I want to direct this question to the FAO. So Human Interest Weekend Spectrum is a program that spices up your weekend with news, breaking events in and outside the Gambia. Meet the people who inspire others to think and change the world. These 
culminated experiences were able to show anybody in New York that I'm somebody who's tough and I'm able to survive and carry out the work that I'm given. So uh, it was a process, uh, a tough one, but uh, all in all, as I said, with, with the grace of Allah and with the support of parents and with the confidence of coming from a small country like Gambia and having a lot to prove. Focus should be in strengthening families to ensure that they keep their children and also vulnerable families. At this time, on GRTS. You are watching Weekend Spectrum on GRTS, a program that spices up your weekend with news-breaking events in and outside the Gambia. I am Beiko Madema. Coming up on the program, we take a brief look at some major events that define 2011. Gambia celebrated Potatis Isa Fofana appears on CNN's Inside Africa program with other influential women on the continent explaining their careers. And we turn our attention to the oldest high school in the Gambia, find out how the school is fighting to regain its former glory. She met a mark in her area of specialization and has represented the Gambia at several international forums, exhibiting beautiful pieces of art. I sat down with Isa Fofon and spoke to her on issues relating to her humble beginning and the influential role Gambian women are playing in the march towards economic prosperity. How was it like discovering your love for art, especially in the field of painting? Wow, this was absolutely great, especially when I was in Germany, because when I was in Germany, then I really discovered myself. I really discovered myself here because I was a member of the GBAAC. This is the Black African Arts Club, and now it's called the Artist Association, and this was early 80s. It's easy to say the place is beautiful, it's impressive, but I'm sure it must have taken a lot of energy, courage, and resources to build this place. How was that like for you, starting up, let's say, from something small to something this big? There was an American friend, an African-American, who told me, Aisha, when I see you, when you were constructing this place, I thought that you were going to have a heart, heart attack because she said she always see me at the mill running, going buying material, coming. I supervise all this place. Up absolutely together with the help of my husband. But all the designs, they were laughing at me, but I made it at the end. So it is something that I like. It is my hobby. It is something that I like, and it's something that I want to show to the young ones, and it's something that I want to share. Um, the tourist season has just begun. Do you have a lot of tourists who come to this place? You know, I left Germany to come here. I definitely wanted to help my country. And when I came the first time, I started in um, Brusubi and I went round to different tour operators and showed them what I want to do. Every door in the tour operator I knocked and I said here I am. But maybe it's the beginning. It's very very difficult for me. In every painting there is a message in that painting. Perhaps for a layman like me if I should look at this painting right here. I, I don't know what you are trying to say. But I know that there is a message in that painting. Can you kindly explain for us what you've demonstrated or illustrated in this painting? You know, art is all about creativity. Mm -hmm. I mean, when one is creative, you can do everything. Mm -hmm. Some people think that painting to have a nice face and nose and mouth and whatever, it's, a, oh, this one is an artist, you can... No, it's all about creativity. Whilst the creativity is there, you can create everything. You have to have the motivation for it, you have the creativity, and there you are. And you can call it the art piece of artwork. For example, this is a broom. You could see it from here. It's a broom. This broom has pests me for the past three weeks. Every morning I come out from the room, the broom is scattered, completely scattered. It's there, it's there, it's there. I gathered all the broom, I pack it into the corner, and in the evening I just come then I make the girl in broom so this is it so I make you see it mm -hmm. these are the hands 